speaking of port of Asap, uh, after Ethiopia Eritrea rapprochement, the signing of agreements and the announcement on Asap uh, is currently under underway. Uh, the king Ethiopia is 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 roaring back, possibly take over uh, of Asap port and vast Afar territory, land and coastal properties without any. Uh, consultation with the Afar nation or uh, uh, listening to the grievances of Afar a nation in Eritrea. We have all heard and seen of Warki's last visit to Addis Ababa uh, last year and the declaration on Asap by Dr. Rabi and how he would like to split the spoils of Asap, the port of Asap, with his friend Isaias with the Afon. Ethiopia cannot ignore the fact that these are Afar territories and these lands was taken illegally by murderous means and crimes against humanity by forcible evictions and by displacement of indigenous Afar from their uh, traditional territories and soil. We have written to Dr. Rabi uh, not to ignore Afar grievances regarding the ethnic cleansing, regarding the forcible displacement of Afar from Asap and the confiscation of uh, the sea coast. Uh, Ethiopia cannot afford to ignore the findings by the United Nations uh, Commission of Inquiry on Human Rights in Eritrea, uh, who investigated and confirmed the atrocities against the Afar in Eritrea. We have told uh, Prime Minister uh, Dr. Abiy, uh, ignoring uh, the United Nations finding will lead Ethiopia for of being complicit in crimes against humanity against the Afar in Eritrea. So far we have not received any answers from Ethiopia. Ethiopia has the responsibility to uphold the international law on the rights of indigenous people. Kabul uh, Daklai Minister Dr. Abiy Asabin the Mimalakat the Millennium Atarash La Manlao Ethiopia Yanina Eritrea Yan Yadarogut Nigger Tegabi Aidalam uh, your declaration on an Asab means Ethiopia has not learned uh, its lesson regarding Afar rights in uh, Asab. Let me remind you, sir, of the 1954 Afar labor strike in Asab. Uh, this was a time when Eritreans were uh, apprehensive about uh, Ethiopia's long hands reaching into Eritrean affairs. In 1994, the Afar nation of Asab opposed Ethiopia's interference and the uh, imposing of Ethiopian labor laws and the imposing of Ethiopia's workforce to work in the port of Asab. Uh, the peaceful protests turned violent when Ethiopian military forces, the Tor Sarawit, opened uh, fire against the Afar protests, uh, killing, uh, killing three Afar protesters and wounding uh, three others. Uh, we have names of those martyrs in uh, Afar martyrs in Assam. Uh, even many Eritreans probably not aware of these facts. Uh, Kabul Declai Minister, Prime uh, Minister Dr. Abi, and Danya Asab Yafar Hizb, the Ulawi, Tarikawi, in the Higawi Mabtuno. Hulat Tanya, Badankalia was Balafut Hayas Mint Amatat, Bafar Hizb Lai. Yadarasa Badal, crimes against humanity. Yazar Matfat Wanjal Tafat Zaman, the international human rights Zanda Kasuhulu Karbor. Malnau, the United Nations member states, including Ethiopia, the Eritrean Mengist Yawa Guzbet Gizinabar. So Stanya, the Asabana Badankalia was the Alut, the Telea Yuyafar Nebrotuch, the Mimalakat, the economic good in unit, Afarin. Yamiakat at Mohana Lebet. Kubur the Climb Minister. A far center dialhona. A far maptial tatabaga. Y Eritrea Gunyun net. Salamina it get. Yameta I chillen. Dear Prime Minister Dr. Abi, as millions across the region enthusiastically welcomed you as a new leader, the Afar nation were also encouraged by your reforms initiatives in Ethiopia and supported your peaceful initiative for coexistence. Uh, socio-economic integrations and, and the hope for economic growth between Ethiopia and Eritrea. But those initiatives and economic engagement must 
respect the rights of Afar Nation and recognize the Afar uh, territorial integrity and land ownership of Afar Nation in Eritrea. We are not saying Ethiopia should pay for Eritrea's crimes, but Ethiopia should not embroil itself in the ongoing crimes against humanity by utilizing the Afar territory and by uh, uh, properties which are the subject of crimes against humanity and currently challenged in the international uh, criminal systems. Dear Prime Minister Abi, as Ethiopia's new leader, you have a great opportunity to correct Ethiopia's historic injustices when it comes to Eritrea. The Afar people reject internal colonization of their traditional territories and resources and the use of discriminatory policy to exploit the natural resources of the Afar nation. The Afar are not against peace building and uh, nation building. The Afar are not about redrawing the colonial borders. We simply are saying the nation building agenda of Ethiopia and, and Eritrea cannot be built on the backdrops of crimes against humanity and the, at the expense of indigenous Afar people. The Afar people have equal rights to safety, security, economic development, needs to fight against Afar poverty to and fight against historic marginalization in this region. The Afar nation cannot be denied the rights to internal self-determination, to self-determine their political future, their economic freedoms, and the rights to safety and uh, security in the region. My dear colleagues and compatriots in diaspora, our roadmap for democratic transition in Eritrea should start now. As opposition group representing the Afar nation in Eritrea, we believe there has to be an urgent inclusive national discourse on Eritrea's future uh, constitution. And this discussion on democratic transition should not wait until the fall of the dictatorship in Eritrea. The discourse surrounding the implementation uh, of the 1997 constitution, the narrative of the state building, democratic reform, national sovereignty uh, would be incomplete unless it addressed the issues of ethnicity in Eritrea, unless it address, uh, addresses the historic affirm grievances, unless it addresses land issues, uh, unless addresses the issues of self-governance, unless it addresses the, uh, the historic marginalization and the injustices that has taken place in the past 28 years in Eritrea. Uh, and if you think the Afar issue or the Nkalia issue is a subnational issue in Eritrean discourse today, uh, think again. Even though the Nkalia is where the question of self-determination and liberation struggle started for Eritrea, uh, many Eritreans are not aware of the importance of this region. Uh, it is true the Afar nation have always been uh, politically, culturally, economically, even uh, geographically at the margin of things, away from the influence of Addis Ababa or Asmara. Uh, but uh, the Nkalia issue is the most pressing and sensitive issue in Eritrea today. It is the national issue. Uh, look at what is happening in Dankalia in terms of geopolitics. Uh, like, like I mentioned, the presence of the uh, uh, Arab Gulf uh, nations, uh, the conflict in Yemen and the presence of the Western powers, uh, apprehensive about the influence of Iran in the region, uh, the involvement of multinational uh, corporations competing for Dankalia's natu uh, na uh, national resources, uh, uh, the multi-billion dollar investments uh, projects involving natural gas, uh, giant potash deposits in Kululi and Ankaria, now uh, trading on London Stock Exchange. Uh, the potash uh, said to be one of the best in the world. Uh, not to mention uh, the newly cemented Ethiopia-Eritrea relationship and the uh, secrecy surrounding the use of coastal waters for uh, Ethiopia's uh, uh, Navy uh, use. Uh, and, and the agreement to uh, use the port of Asab and Mosawa, uh, very, uh, very little uh, details uh, what the agreement is all about. Um, the possibility of the transfer of large number of uh, Ethiopian workforce to work in the port of Asab, possibly uh, Eritreans becoming a minority in their homeland. The, the whole thing is the 
uh, most sensitive and concerning sovereignty issue for uh, Eritreans. Aside from the significance of our region geopolitically and economically, I like to point out to the people factor. Most often we forget uh, what is the sacrifice or the status of a far nation historically uh, in this part of the world and even the, uh, during the liberation struggle. Um, at the turning point of the, uh, the 18th century, the, uh, the shores of Afar territories were uh, at the center of uh, European colonization. This was a time when Europeans were scrambling for, uh, to get their hands on the wealth of African nations. During this time, the Afar indigenous nations were uh, organized and recognized internationally. They had sultanates with authorities. They had functioning indigenous customary laws to control over their vast territories, uh, a wealth and a resource distribution system. They had uh, freedom of mobility. If there was conflict with neighboring nations, it was resolved peacefully. Uh, most most of the time using the indigenous laws. One of those conflicts uh, took place uh, in our region was uh, a most notably a conflict that took place between Mussolini forces and the Afar Sultanates of Gurifo, uh, uh, Sultanates of Biru. Uh, the Afar uh, Sultan Yasin Haisama of Gurifo in Dankalia fought against Italian colonialism, defending his territories and people f uh, from being colonized. The conflict, a uh, uh, colonial conflict, lasted over uh, 35 years. Countless of our uh, lives were lost along with many Italian soldiers. Uh, the uh, the Sultan Yasin Haisama was in fact captured and killed uh, in, uh, in, in fighting along countless of our people. Uh, his brother Mohammed uh, Haisama and his father Sultan Haisama also died fighting against the, uh, both internal and external attempt to colonize Dankalia, uh, uh, both by uh, Italians and uh, uh, the Tigrayan rules of, uh, at the time. Uh, similarly, uh, another Sultan, uh, Sultan Laouta Hummad, was captured after refusing to be colonized by the French colonialists uh, in Djibouti. He later uh, died in captivity in Madagascar in 1931. Another Afar Sultan from the dynasty of Afar Sultanates in the region also died in prison in, in Addis Ababa in 1944. Um, after the independence of uh, Eritrea, yet another Sultan was forced out of Eritrea uh, from, uh, from the, the descendants of the Sultan of Garifu, Sultan Muhammad Ahau. Uh, late Sultan Muhammad Ahau died in exile in Yemen. These Afar Sultans commanded respect of their people. They exerted authorities throughout the Afar territories beyond the colonial borders of today. I can't think of a single nation that has sacrificed so many of its leaders and kings fighting against the European colonialism in Africa. Uh, this reminds me uh, of a song about uh, a, a redemption song uh, by Bob Marley uh, that says how long they shall kill our prophets while we stand and look today the Afar history and bravery is not even being taught in the history books of Eritrea today the Afar reality is in sharp contrast of its once glorious past the Afar sacrifice was also significant uh, during the liberation uh, struggle for independence through 1950s to uh, 1977. People like Muhammad Omar Akito, the pioneers of Eritrean self-determination uh, struggle, Ahmed Hilal, Ali Sayyid, Gaas Musa, Idris Gumhed, Ahmed Ahau, Dini Ismail. These are just a few of our thinkers and military commanders that paid the ultimate sacrifice for the independence of Eritrea. They have never they have never envisioned one day their children would be the subject of Afar marginalization and ethnic persecution in, in, in Eritrea. Dear friends and uh, compatriots, going forward as Eritreans, we need to press a reset button on the future of our democratic union in Eritrea. The 1997 constitution is a non-starter for the Afar people. We need 
a, a fundamental change, not a cosmetic change in Eritrea. Of course, there is no off-the-shelf constitutional solution for Eritrea. We need to sit down and as Eritreans, as people, as political opposition groups, as civil society groups, constitutional experts, religious leaders, indigenous ethnic groups, and minority groups to reconcile our differences, assert our rights, and guaranteeing those rights in a constitution that reflects our diversity, uh, reflects our ethnic, uh, multi-ethnic, multi-religious, multi-regional, multi-cultural, multi-lingual diversity uh, of Eritrea. Our national discourse about uh, nation building should include reconciliation, restorative justice for those who dealt with injustices, uh, ethnic persecution, marginalization, how to deal with nationalities' rights to internal self-determination, people's right to control over their land and resources, the economic well-being, protection for religious freedoms, the right to protect and develop our uh, unique identity, um, languages, uh, cultures, guaranteeing those rights in a constitution is the best interest for everyone and it is a crucial solution for democratic transition for our unity and nation building uh, agenda today. As one of those indigenous nationalities who have been dealt with uh, historic marginalization and injustice in, in Eritrea, we the FR believe a multicultural, multi-regional federal constitutional model can address all of these uh, differences, uh, uh, groups and grievances of different groups, historic cultural uh, identities, uh, the, the, the uh, ethnic composition and fair and equal representations of our people. Some people raise the argument that Eritrea is a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities. It will be difficult to accommodate on, on, on those grounds. Uh, yes, there are areas and regions in Eritrea that are mixed. Uh, there are areas and regions that are exclusively of one ethnic group. For example, Dankalia, even with uh, Eritrean regime's systematic attack on our identity and attempt to change the demographic of, of our population, Dankalia is still uh, exclusively ethnic Afar homeland. Uh, the majority of Afar hinterland uh, is still not tempered with. There are regions in, uh, in the highlands probably still have the old provincial structure. Uh, uh, Serai, Akali, Guzai, uh, Hamasin, exclusively that of the Grinya ethnicity. For example, with that composition, uh, there, uh, there could be uh, uh, the question of our Jabberti brothers could be addressed uh, as a distinct society. Their grievances can be addressed within those regional uh, uh, or provincial model. Uh, the western Eritrea, uh, the lowland and the middle lowland, uh, part of Sahel region of Eritrea could be a strong block or a combination of regional federal states uh, with its historic intermarriages and of mixed population, mixed religion and ethnicities. Within this region, the question of our brothers and sisters' nationalities like the Konama, Saho, Tigray, Nara, Bilain, Bani Amr could be addressed in uh, the, their own self-governance. Uh, and regional uh, uh, state solution can be accommodated. Again, there is no off-the-shelf constitutional solutions or models uh, we can simply apply to our uh, nationalities' uh, demographics. We need to tailor-make those solutions available to accommodate for each of our nationalities, ethnicities, regions, and uh, to address uh, uh, the cultural uh, grievances. We really believe uh, the system of Eritrean Federation based on those historic backgrounds will lead us into uh, a more perfect Eritrean Union. I know many of us just can't wait until this tyrannical regime goes belly up, but we simply cannot afford to wait until the last minute. We have said crimes against humanity, cultural genocide, gross human rights violations have taken place in Eritrea. The absence of the rights of the victims, marginalized groups, uh, equality of all nationality uh, simply uh, cannot wait. Uh, in closing, as Eritreans, we need to rethink our uh, nation-building agenda 
unless we protect our collective rights, we will continue to be divided as a democratic opposition groups. Uh, with pressure from international community, we understand uh, Eritrean regime is currently working behind closed doors on its own version of uh, uh, a new constitution for Eritrea. Uh, we, uh, we have no doubt this constitution will resemble the 1997 constitution, highly centralized, giving more power to the center, protecting the status quo, uh, subduing uh, Eritrea's ethnic identity, probably something cut out of the, the EPLF political manifesto of the 1971. We must collectively reject constitutional making process that marginalize uh, a segment of our population. A constitution that lacks proper, uh, proper uh, uh, consultation with Eritrea's multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religious uh, communities. Uh, recovering from the uh, years of uh, crimes against humanity will require a process of healing for, for the nation. As Eritreans, we need to come to terms with what has taken place in Eritrea. Uh, Eritrea needs uh, a truth and reconciliation process, something like what South Africa went through after the end of the apartheid rule. The Afar nation have endured enough injustice, first at the hands of European colonization in the late uh, 1880s, uh, then the encroachment of Ethiopian kings on Afar territories, and now the ethnic cleansing policies by the most repressive uh, Eritrean regimes, uh, uh, regime in Eritrea. As far as the Afar are concerned, I don't think there is any more resilient and self-conscious people on the face of planet than the Afar nation. This is not even considering the harsh and the uh, inhospitable environment uh, they survive on, uh, a volcanic landscape, a uh, severe drought, uh, the dying out of once sustainable nomadic pastoralist uh, lifestyle uh, because of climate change in, in the region. You will find among the Afar a, a remarkable story and a will to survive. Uh, I will urge our Eritrean political opposition groups, activist groups, NGOs, Eritrean scholars to work on, uh, on a process of healing, bridging the gaps between various groups and their grievances. We must work closely on asserting the rights of our, all of our Eritrean uh, diverse nations and nationality to make sure uh, no one is left behind. If we fail to prepare ourselves for post-dictatorship Eritrea and uh, defend the rights of all of our people, there is going to be irreversible damage to our uh, Eritrea sovereignty and the unity of our social fabric. Finally, to my Tigrinya brothers or any other sister nationalities, my intention is not to aggravate our relationship or about wedge politics or offend your beautiful uh, culture. My intention is to bring to your attention the the grievances and the issues of concern for of the Afar people that you may not be aware of otherwise, to discuss and reconcile the differences and ultimately come up with solutions. We know this tyrannical regime in Eritrea did not spare you from uh, brutality because you are a Tigrinya. You have equally suffered under this brutal tyrant. Many of your children uh, vanished in Mediterranean Sea. Uh, I and my fellow Afar share your pain and value your culture and identity. Uh, we want to work with you. I know there are concerns in the highlands about the overpopulation or the scarcity of natural resources. Uh, we want to assure you the Afar certainly understand those concerns and will work in collaborative solution for Eritrea in terms of uh, resource distribution. A fair and equitable economic development agenda for the well-being of all segments of Eritrean population. Dear compatriots, friends and colleagues, together we must claim back our dignity, the future ownership of our political, social, economic freedoms and aspirations for a just and prosperous Eritrea. Let us all join hands in solidarity to defeat uh, the, the current system uh, and work hand in hand to a draft, uh, a system that we can all be proud of.
to decolonize our land and our people, to restore our dignity uh, from the 28 years of humiliation and oppression. I say in the Afar version of the Akil, Nedi'tah, Samad Baisi Solai, Nankalia cannot be sold. Thank you for your support. Thanks for listening. I look forward in working with you to achieve all of our goals and aspirations for the new Eritrea. Yihlo Bisoh.